Hi guys, it's Bubbly here. Um, I hope you guys can see me pretty well. I've been having trouble with the angle, but anyways, um, today I wanted to focus on something that's really important. Um, I actually learned this in a group that I went to for depression, um, like last year, I think it was, um, and it was a very helpful group, like they were so informative and so supportive, and it was so amazing to have people around me that were going through the same thing. If it's like a good, highly recommended group, especially like if there's a long wait list to get in, it's usually worth it, um, I would totally recommend going into it because it helped me so much just to be able to talk to people who are going through situations similar to mine um, and even harder like and easier situations like it's just amazing to be able to be around people that have gone through similar experiences with depression um, it's yeah like nothing can compare to it because with depression you feel like you're the odd one out you're isolated you're like you're the weird one I guess <laughs> but it's honestly that's just it's from the depression that you think that way because it's not true there's so many people with depression and so many people with different disorders in the world um it's, it's quite a common thing and everybody thinks almost exactly the same with depression they think that they're so weird or they're so I just wanted to give you guys a tip that I just kind of remembered about today and I really need to put back into my life in even better force. <laughs> um, and that tip I actually learned at a group I went to and I would highly recommend going to depression groups or um, whatever you're dealing with a group for it because especially with depression you feel like you're by yourself but if you're with a group you finally get to see how other people experience the same disorder and you get to see that you're not alone, that you have people that you can relate to and it's just so good especially to get those feelings out there and bounce them off other people and you usually find out that your thinking is completely wrong about a subject so <laughs> it's very helpful but I learned a lot of really good things from that group and I got to keep the pamphlets and everything so that was really good. Um, but the one main thing I learned, um, besides that other people go through it almost the exact same way and have the same different, like, twisted thought patterns about it, um, is that you have to take things one step at a time. And this is really hard for people who are um, high achievers that just are always going and always wanted to achieve more and do better. These people, like we have people like that in our groups because I see that people who are naturally perfectionists, we do tend to lean towards being depressed because you can never achieve perfection and it'll be disappointing if you don't achieve it in the end, but we're always striving for it no matter what. So um, these high achievers and perfectionists, they reach for the sky and if they're not at the top of their game like they don't have as clear thinking or as much rest as usual um, because they are depressed and they can't reach those goals the same then they get even more depressed and fall even harder so the best thing is to take little baby steps like say you have to clean your whole house clean say one day you're gonna clean the bathroom but even if you feel too exhausted to do that just do the counters in the bathroom and then say you're going to do the kitchen the next day and just make little goals instead of doing the entire house but anyways it's just it's really good to take things one step at a time because you are in a recovery process just think if you broke your leg you have to have a cast on it you might have to have crutches and each baby step is um, you'll walk first without the crutches, then you'll have the cast taken off, and then you walk gingerly on it until it's strong, like you have to be able to go slower and rehabilitate yourself. 
do super tiny steps that you absolutely know that you can achieve. And then once you get that achievement, you'll feel good um, instead of setting your goals at super high and not achieving them and sinking even lower and being sad. And that is such a good tip. It really is. Like you have to lower your expectations in order to grow and recover up to happy and full, um, you know, just full life. Because you are recovering. It's a disorder, but you are recovering from it, right? So, yeah. That's my little tip for today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I hope this was helpful. Um, just please leave me some feedback if you want to, or just say hi. I'd love to meet you guys and hear from you. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.